Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I have here an iPod Touch 4th generation, and I'm going to use it to show you how you can jailbreak an iPod Touch 3rd uh, generation or up, an iPhone uh, 3GS or up, or an iPad 1 or an iPad 2, making this the first tool that will actually jailbreak an iPad 2. And all you need is a web browser. You visit jailbreakme.com, which is a website that will bring up what looks like um, an App Store page and you just go ahead and install the application. In this case, I've already installed it, so I'm going to click the um, re-jailbreak button, and you'll see a little loading icon here. That's it. We're jailbroken. You can tell you're jailbroken because you should see the Cydia icon on your desktop or your home screen, and when you go back to the website, it should say, look, you're done. Now, Cydia is an application store that lets you install apps that are not available from the official app store, including uh, things that offer deep system level integration, for instance, changing the boot logo, um, the, the little Apple icon that you see when you first launch the device, it could be something else, um, or changing the notification menu, changing the way that the, uh, the desktop or the um, application dock works. One of the first things that you might want to do is open Cydia and take a look for something called PDF Patcher 2 and that's because um, in order to download an application from the web and use it to patch uh, your device there's actually a security flaw that's being exploited and it allows PDFs to uh, uh, run code on your device so downloading and installing PDF Patcher 2 will actually fix that exploit for you so that if somebody else now that it's out there in the wild, if somebody else basically develops a hack that uh, is a little bit more dangerous and tries to steal data from your device or something using a PDF, you uh, you won't be vulnerable to that. Um, there's no way to actually install PDF Patcher right now without first jailbreaking your device, but uh, it's likely that Apple will address this in a future update, which means a couple of things. First, it means that your uh, phone will be more secure, but it'll also be harder to jailbreak. So. Uh, there you go. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is if and when you uh, decide to jailbreak your device using this method, um, you're going to want to make sure that you don't upgrade uh, next time Apple sends out a, a software update. So this works with iOS 4.3 through 4.33 on uh, different devices. It's a little bit different depending on which device you're using. You can check mobiputing.com for details. But if you uh, get a prompt saying, would you like to install iOS 4.3.4? Odds are it's going to um, remove the jailbreak and the uh, easy method for, for installing it. Uh, this is an untethered tail jailbreak, which means you can go ahead and turn off your device, um, power it completely down, reboot it, and you should still have the jailbreak intact, whereas some earlier jailbreak methods uh, required you to plug into a computer with a USB connection and run the software again every time you wanted to reboot. So as you can see, um, this video has run about three minutes long, but the actual jailbreaking took just a couple of seconds. So that's Jailbreak Me. This is Brad Linder with Mobiputing.